Hello. I just woke up. <laughs> Does it look like I just woke up? Because this is what I look like when I just woke up. Okay, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm about to go get in the shower, so let's go do that. Okay, so I just got out of the shower. I washed my hair last night, so today was not a hair washing day. I've been noticing, like, I have a lot of, like, baby hairs growing back. Like, I have a lot right here. There's, like, a chunk right here, a chunk right here, and they never know what to do, so we just leave them. So I'm actually about to do my makeup. I have some yellow on this dress, so I think I'm going to use some yellow eyeliner and wear yellow hoops today. That's what I think is gonna go down. All right, you guys, guess what? Today is my 12th therapy appointment and it's literally gonna happen in two minutes. And I just wanna say I am proud of myself because I literally have not skipped a single appointment. I have done once a week and I'm so excited. Um, after these 12, so after this one, I'm gonna start doing only um, two therapy sessions a month, so every other week. But yeah, I just want to say I freaking did it and I'm so proud of that. So, all right, now I'm about to go to the appointment. Okay, so my 12th therapy session is over, but I already have <laughs> my next appointment scheduled for next week because you know what? I just, it felt right. Um, so maybe after next week, we'll start doing every other week. But either way, therapy is gonna be an ongoing thing. So now my therapist is gonna be sending off a little paperwork that he thinks that I am ready for weight loss surgery. And then I have my appointment with my dietitian in about 10 to 11 days. So everything is like on track. I still have a couple of those, um, like I have to get an EKG, I have to go get my gallbladder checked and all that. I'm gonna do that all in the same day, I think. Um, so I still have to go get those things done. I keep forgetting, um, but I'm definitely gonna get them done before my dietitian appointment so I can have everything just like finished and done because I think that dietitian appointment is like where I am like reassessed and we're just gonna see what the next steps are. You guys, this is all P.O. Box stuff that you guys sent me. So I think I'm gonna open something. What should we open? Which one should we open? So I already pre-opened them so I don't have to do that um, in the video. But I think I'm gonna do this big guy right here and it's heavy. So this is what it looks like on the inside. So it is an Amazon box, but I can tell, oh my God, that it's just like someone's reused box because there's just like a ton of wrapped gifts. Oh my God, wait, let me open this and then I will show you guys everything. You guys, I feel like it's my freaking birthday. Lizzie, oh my God, look at everything she sent me. I am, first of all, what you wrote in the card the card is beautiful. What you wrote is beautiful. She spoiled me. We have tons of Bath and Body Works. We have a Thousand Wishes candle, a Relax Black Chamomile candle, another little Thousand Wishes candle. We have three body creams, Into the Stars, You're the One, and Into the Night. Then we have two body butters, In the Stars, and You're the One. We have this celestial scrub by in the stars and then we have in the stars fragrance mist and you must know that i love ariana grande's perfume so she got me ariana grande cloud body mist i am shook doesn't stop there also got me this immunity shield it's an essential oil blend 100 percent pure and then i've never had bath and body works um perfume so she got me you're the one bath and body works perfume and then bath and body works has lip oil which i also had no idea so she also got me that and she knows i like squishy things so she got me this really cute baby a koala a turtle and a octopus and i had to take one out already just to play with it look how freaking cute and then this me and feline are gasping so it's another like fidget thing but the texture of this cat is so satisfying. We are obsessed. Feline, literally, she grabbed it and she goes, it's aesthetically feeling instead of aesthetically pleasing. I thought that was so funny. But oh my gosh, so much stuff. Thank you so much. 
And then the last thing is this mystery me meow. It's a surprise figure. So I figured I would open it with you guys. So let's see. Oh my God, it's so cute. It's a little cat with wings. Tell me that doesn't look like Rarity and Wasabi like had a baby together. It's so adorable. Oh my gosh. Lizzie, you're amazing. Thank you so much. You did not have to send me this stuff. As soon as I clicked off of the video, I used the lotion. I did a candle. I tried the lip stuff, which I love. And then I also uh, smelled the little like pure essential oil thing. It smelled so good. It was actually a really calming smell. So, but I just want to say thank you so, so much like from the bottom of my heart. So yeah, I think I just decided I'm gonna start adding um, P.O. Box openings in my vlogs randomly. And I think it'll be fun to go back to that again. So if you wanna send me anything, here is my P.O. Box. Uh, the only thing I request is please do not send me food. Thank you. Okay guys, so let's talk about live streams, destiny, that whole situation. So I was putting a lot of my time into the whole trying to clear up my name and try to share my side of the story of a relationship that I had eight years ago. A relationship that means nothing to me now. A lot of things that Destiny was saying was bringing up obviously old trauma, like the things with her mom and Destiny cheating on me and what Destiny did to her dog, which I've seen a lot of people validate the reason why Destiny did that and I will forever disagree with that and it breaks my heart and that is why during live stream era I said that I didn't like her and I thought she was a horrible person and my opinion still stands by that um, regardless of anything else and just this whole thing has made me realize that like I was putting way too much time into that whole destiny live stream thing instead of putting time into myself. This has made me see more than ever like where people's hearts are and so many of you you know do stand by my side and I appreciate you so much but I hate seeing the side of the community that validates abuse whether that be emotional or physical um, that validates any wrongdoing that has been done just to continue to cast blame on me and I'm not gonna be part of it any longer. I'm no longer going to be talking about Destiny. I don't care what she says or what she has to say about me. She could literally flat out lie to you guys wholeheartedly and I'm just gonna let it be because I was putting way too much of my energy into that and I'm just absolutely done. The whole situation has been super unhealthy. I think on Destiny's side and on my side, I think that there comes a time where it's like, bro, let's move on. Um, I'm done rehashing, I am done clarifying, I am done denying, I am done confirming, I am just done. And I'm ready to now um, go back to putting my energy where it belongs and that's in myself and in my health and in my weight loss surgery and my therapy and do better in that way. I truly wish Destiny nothing but the best and she can call me a sumo wrestler all she wants, laugh about who I am as a person and the things that I went through in the past or currently. Um, she can do whatever she has to do, but I'm no longer going to be a part of that. I want my channel to go back to where it was. I was every day just coming on here and talking to you guys more about my journey of life. <laughs> and Destiny is not in my life. She's not going to be in my life ever. I want nothing to do with her. So for those who uh, have hung on through the last like four live streams and you guys have been missing my videos, I know I've heard you. We are back, we are back to the videos. So I have a schedule in mind. I am thinking I'm gonna upload three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I know for sure that's how it's gonna be this week, um, but we're gonna see how it goes and what you guys think of it. And we will readjust when the time comes because like if I notice something isn't working out for my channel then obviously we'll readjust and we'll fix it. So another thing I really want to quickly just talk about is that for the last few weeks I have not been on track with my eating. I have gone back to ordering takeout and this is something that I was 
terrified to tell my dietitian and my therapist. I was very, very scared because for the longest time, I haven't had anyone like higher up that I had to talk to or tell or really answer to. Like I've had no one that I've had to answer to. And you know, I've only ever had to like come on here and tell you guys like, oh no, like I failed another diet or oh no, I've gained weight. The response is always the same. Um, obviously there's a lot of people who are like, oh my god, it's okay, we understand, like been there, done that, we're humans. Um, but then there are majority, the majority of people are very like rude and like harsh and oh my god, she's never gonna get it, she's just gonna die. And she, just so like lack of understanding and lack of sympathy or empathy or just like any sort of like understanding. That is like always what I've been used to and I have been so scared to like tell you guys and because of that reason and then you know I that that same like scared feeling that I feel uh, towards like telling you guys that I have failed again um failed for the lack of a better term here um I I was feeling that way towards like my dietitian and my therapist and I was completely honest with the both of them I told them exactly how I was feeling where I stand how I'm doing and I was completely honest and the way that they took it like shocked me and like put me back into reality that like YouTube isn't reality. The response that I get on YouTube isn't reality. YouTube isn't what I should be answering to. This is just a way for me to share my life. And yeah, my therapist and my dietitian were like, I am so proud of you for being honest. Like this is like the perfect step to take. It's showing that you are ready. And I actually told my therapist, um, a week ago during my therapy session obviously but then i told my dietitian through email because i didn't have um an appointment and i just want to read to you the first part back um that my dietitian sent me first of all i am proud of you thank you for your email thank you for your openness and transparency with your therapist and now me this demonstrates to me that you are more ready for surgery now than even some post-op patients I have worked with in the past have ever allowed themselves to be. It takes a lot of courage to open up about your struggles. So I appreciate that you shared that with me. And then there's like four other paragraphs, but those are private. I was shocked. Um, it just, this whole thing where it's like answering to professionals versus like just people in the comments like there's such a difference in between the two and it's like it brought me back to reality where it's like these are the people that i need to be speaking to about my issues they're the opinions that matter and i don't know it just like meant a lot to me and i don't know so i just wanted to like you know get you guys kind of updated on that that like just this whole thing um i've noticed that like what's going on with destiny and like live streams and like i don't know me getting like pneumonia again which i am feeling a lot better thank you guys for the well wishes just the mixture of like all that i stopped taking care of myself again that is why i have to choose me i have to continue doing that because the minute i stopped i just stopped with my good eating and just feeling better and like losing weight i completely stopped with that and i weighed myself today and i've gained a couple pounds and that's devastating that's not that's not what I want for me and that's that's not the goal here. My whole weight loss team is like hardcore rooting for me and it's just making me want to push more and I'm just so grateful for them because like I've needed this for so long and I need to keep remembering progress not perfection, progress not perfection and um my dietitian even mentioned that in her email so yeah I just wanted to give you guys that update and I definitely want to like start just talking more about my weight and really just making that like a forefront like talking more about like my weight loss journey because that's so important to me whether that just be like in my personal life talking about it more whether it be with the people closest to me or whether it be journaling or even just like here on youtube we'll see but just either way i need it to be like something that i'm really truly focusing on again because like i stopped for a minute there and i was going down a path that i did not want to go on and i'm just not going to be a part of it i'm not going to do it um, I just need to continue fighting for me and doing good for me. So I am going to actually end this video. I hope that you guys did enjoy. Vlogs are back Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I'll see you guys then. Bye.